Hello, this is Kendall with Freedom Canine. Let's talk about the heel position. So, first of all, should you heel on the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Well, that depends um, if you are left-hand dominant or right-hand dominant. If you are right-handed, your dog should be on your left-hand side. And if you are left-hand dominant, your dog should be on the right-hand side. The reason for that, you want to be able to use your dominant hand to still open a car door, uh, drink coffee, or do anything like that without having to flip around and switch around your leash. Now that we've figured out which side your dog should be in, uh, what position should your dog be in? Your dog's collar should be right next to your leg. Uh, if your dog's nose is right next to your leg, when you are looking straight forward, you won't be able to see your dog with your peripheral vision. If your dog's shoulder is right next to your leg and they're looking straight forward, then they're not going to be able to see you with their peripheral vision. So with their collar right next to your leg, you both should be able to walk looking straight ahead, uh, be still being able to see each other with your peripheral vision. How to hold the leash. This is really important and will set you up for success. You have two ways to hold your leash, either in two hands for extra strength and uh, extra support and security, or you can have your leash in just your one hand um, for dogs that are a little easier going or maybe a little smaller. So the two-handed version, you're going to put the loop around your thumb, grab up about a foot, and then on your left hand side you'll grab your leash. You're going to fully relax with both hands like you're walking, nothing, and your leash should have a slight a slight J to it. So make sure that your leash is nice and loose. So two-hand version should look just like this. One hand version, loop around the thumb, grab up a foot a piece, then your leash should look just like this. Make sure your hands are nice and relaxed, whichever way you decide to hold your leash. When healing your dog, your dog should be uh, right at your side, collar to the leg, shouldn't be forging ahead, lagging behind, walking too far to the side, or sniffing the ground. They also shouldn't be focused on something too intently, uh, other dogs or squirrels or anything going on around you. This is about you and your dog walking together, so your dog's attention should be on you. What happens when your dog starts to pull on the leash or get a little distracted? Well, your leash should already be nice and loose. Before you start to feel any kind of tension, you should see your dog start to get out of position. So once they do start to get out of position, your correction should only last a brief second. It should be a little quick pop on the leash and back to a relaxed, loose leash. An easy way to tell if your dog is paying attention to you is to look at their head posture and their ear position. If they're paying attention uh, and you're walking, their ears should be back just a slight bit and their head should be neutral. If you start seeing their head start to rise and their ears start to get pricked up, you know that they're paying attention to something further away than right next to you. And that's when you'll be able to correct and give some information. When you start off, say your command once and then start walking. Heal means walk with me. So if you don't move, they won't move. Have a good one. Practice turning left. Your dog is already ahead of you. When you turn left, what's gonna happen? Your dog is going to bump into you and you're going to trip. So before you turn, make sure that your dog is in the right position or you can give them slight bits of information. Your dog should not hit your leg when you're turning. Okay, so set your dog up for success. So when you're healing your dog, practice speeding up, slowing down, making left turns, making right turns, turning around, stopping. Really try to test your dog to make sure that they are paying attention to you and they know what is expected with a heel position. Now I'll go through and demonstrate some healing, uh, try and talk to you, with, um, letting you know what I'm doing, when I'm correcting, when I'm giving um, guidance at all for Havoc here. So, heel. Lee should be loose but not extremely loose. His head starts to go down, I'm going to pop and correct up. Practicing turning left, kind of getting ahead, um, give that correction. You can give multiple if you need to, um, so that way it's a lighter correction. Remember, keep that collar right next to the leg. 
head should be neutral. If you're feeling any tension on that leash, get rid of it. Head's a little too low, 